Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is a new video of how to design your home according to feng shui principles. So if you are new here, welcome. My name is Asma Diab. I'm an interior architect and designer and you're watching Decor Time. And this channel is all about home decor and gives you tips and tricks to help you if you are remodeling or designing your space. And today's video is going to be how to design your foyer or your entryway according to the feng shui principles. And if you don't know what feng shui is, check out my previous video in this series. We talked about the five elements of feng shui, which is water, fire, wind, wood, and metal, and how each one affects your life and symbolizing for. And in this series, you're going to find all the videos about how to apply feng shui in your home, like your bedroom, living room, kitchen, and bathroom. The first one I always mentioned at the end of each video in this series, keep it neat and declutter. But in this video, I'm going to put it at the first step here because your entryway is the first place you see in your when you enter your home. So even if you don't care about the feng shui principles and how it affects your life, in some way, it's important to have your first place clean and neat because think about it. After a long, hard day for you, you came to place very clean, neat, simple, organized, no obstacles in your ways. It will affect you instantly, make you relaxing, feel home and welcoming in your own place. So keep it clean as much as you can. Try to not expose your shoe rack in your foyer. Never allow shoes to be placed there. Never ever to leave your shoes in front of your door. And if you want to have your shoes next to the door, you can have like a shore rack with a closed doors, can cover everything and give you a clean look at the end. So make sure you free the pathways in and out of your foyer. You want the chi energy entering your home to flow freely and move deeper into your home, spreading all the good energy into your house. Second tip, which is very important, pay attention to your lighting in your foyer. So try to use different layering of your lighting. Like when you're planning your lighting, try to have light sources at a variety of heights, like using a ceiling lighting. Um, you can use a, a pendant or a chandelier. For the walls, you can use scones, or you can use a table lamp on your console or your show rack. Also, you can use uplighting on your floor. And if you have your stairs inside your entryway or next to it, you can use this strip lighting underneath your tread. So by this way, you use different layering of lighting, which affect for good chi. And don't forget, bring as much as you can natural lighting in your entryway. If you have a glass in your entry door, try to not cover it with like a back curtains. You can leave it as a glass as it is, or you can use a sheer curtains just to cover for privacy, but do not block the natural lighting from outside. We want to bring as much as you can, a good amount of lighting from the nature inside your home. Another tip, which is mirrors, how to use your mirror in your entryway. It's really important to pay attention where you place your mirror and how big is it? Well, I know mirror is important to have in your entryway to like, to have the final look before you go out or after you came into your house, you need to check yourself. So it's okay you have a mirror in your entryway, but do not place it facing your front door because the chi enters your home from this door. The position of mirror facing the door, it makes the chi bouncing off your, the mirror and goes back outside. And you don't want that. You can place your mirror at the wall, which is perpendicular on your front door's wall. And it will look nicer because if you have like a show rack or console at the side of the door, you can hang it over it with some table decoration. It will look great. And this will also provide a station to drop off your keys, your mail, your purse, or give yourself a quick check before heading out the door. Another tip, which is like, we all missed it, that we don't care about like how the quality of your front door. 
so most of us like our front door sometimes is squeaking make noises it, you have to slam it when you close like two times or so to make sure it's locked already or like it's a safety closed but this is not good for your chi so you need to take care of your front door if it's like the painted shaped or has some cracks or like the hinge make like noises or squeaky sounds uh, the locks is like already fixed it well try to make sure everything is correct and fix it in your front door it helps a lot with your chi for the colors you don't have to like stick to specific color it depends on your home design style is but i always recommend to make it like a one color only do not integrate too many colors especially if it's like contrasting colors you need the first place in your house calming and soothing relaxing welcoming to you so to be safe go with the neutral colors as one color for your all entryway the last thing don't forget to add some plants especially live plants to your entryway it adds a life to your place and welcoming freshing and helps a lot with the chi but stay away again from sharpie spiky plants and go only with the curvy smooth soft plants okay guys we came to the end of this video today if you like it and see this video useful don't forget to give it a thumb up and share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell next to the subscribe button to be updated every time i upload new video and see you next time. Bye-bye.